Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're sat at 2. A busy station as far as people are concerned. But there are points where nothing happens. I like that. I like that we can just sit here. And there's nothing happening. And then a few trains come by. It's perfect. It feels like a real network. Uh, it's not as busy as, say, Speeds. I think that's possibly one of our busiest stations. Brig as well. That's a busy one, isn't it? With the freight trains passing through and the express trains. Given that this is a termination... Termination? <laughs> no. <laughs> Given this is a terminus, that's better. We don't get to see the uh, expresses come through. But I do like it anyway. We do get to see the freight train and the commuters. Now... In the last episode, I did mention that we're just going to do stuff like this around the map. However, I can't. I can't. I want to add something. Yeah, so we're doing that. Hopefully, it's a quick one. If you'll remember, this is why we're here as well. Our fuel train comes through here. And we've still got to add another stop at Überhofen. So I'd like to do that today. It's going to be up in the mountains and then it's going to make its way down. We're also going to delete a few roads that they have, uh, or the AI have placed in there, that are ridiculous. And we're going to make it a little more realistic. When they built up in Überhofen, I didn't have a certain mod installed. It reduces the maximum slope of roads, so slope too steep happens much sooner than uh, in vanilla. So we have that installed, which, again, increases the difficulty slightly, along with our realistic braking mod. So yes, we'll do that today. That way we can add a second fuel train on. And we'll go and, before we do it, because I want to take a look at these, we'll go and take a look at Brig to Visps, Little Metro, and we'll put those new ones on. We unlocked. Here we are then, in Visp. Ready to get this uh, upgraded, finally. I kind of like what they've done here with the, little, the two little restaurants. Kind of works, doesn't it? Out the front and the station. Good job, AI. That's why I like playing with the AI on, rather than placing my own assets. Let's get these and we'll uh, upgrade them. How many people are on here before we do this? 28 to 45. Right. And we had new ones, didn't we? Electric. There they are. Yeah, I like this idea. They only carry 20. Uh, they're, they're the wrong ones. Where are they? Oh, is that all that's left now? Probably. That's all we've got, the maintenance ones. But anyway, this one. We want these on. Considering they only take 20, we might have to wait until they get in the station. I'd rather make maximum from them. Uh, how many people are waiting? The light rail. There we go. Hopefully... Oh, 26. Um... Do you know, we're going to sacrifice those six people. Well, we're not sacrificing them. They're just going to be somewhere else. I'm just going to do it. We're going to do it. It's like ripping the band-aid off. And they'll be gone. But that'll be the, uh, the new capacity. They're quicker. I couldn't see how fast the other ones were. But they're, uh, they are quicker. That tree's going to have to go soon. Uh, although, we kind of scoot under it. In, in reality, that would just push the tree up, although it goes over the... Well, yeah, let's get rid of it. There we go. There we go. Tidy. I like these. I like these a lot. They look the business, don't they? Our little light rail. We might be putting some different ones on here eventually, but for now, that's perfect. That's perfect as a little light rail system. Yes. I could sit and watch those all day. I'm guessing this was... That wasn't full, so that's nice. How many people are waiting? 20 to go to Visp. Wow. Yeah, well, you're going to have to wait longer. Now, we could put a third on. Rather than double them up. And have it a little more frequent. I'm not sure how that will work with our single track layout here. I think the best bet might be just to make it longer. Which is a shame, because that's two power cars, ideally. You wouldn't really do that. I don't know whether the finances are going to improve with these. What we'll do is we'll check back a little later. 
and see if there are too many people waiting. It might balance itself out quite nice. Oh, we've still got those super old trams here. Yeah, it might balance itself out later. Let's... Can we afford to do... Actually, yes, we can. Go on. We're going to do it. We're going to upgrade these now. 4.7 million. There we go. That will help the growth of Brig anyway. So worth it. We've still got the old buses. Should we upgrade those? Or should we just renew them? I might just renew them. Do they have people on? Well, they all kind of do, don't they? No, they do. Well, that's what we want. We don't mind if they're not full. We just want them to get to wherever they're going as often as possible. So, yes, we will replace these. Do we want the newer ones? I'm going to stick with these for now. It's just uh, a quicker way of, uh, of increasing the maintenance. Because I forget. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it on maximum. It would be nice if there was the option to put these on maximum and then as soon as they hit 100% automatically went back to normal. That would be cool. And then you could uh, manage it a little easier. Did I ever show you this last episode? I did a little more up here. This was the house I put in the people spawner, residential spawner. Just kept coming out. This isn't finished. I'm just adding a few more assets. This is our station up here now. It's kind of snazzy, isn't it? I tried to do something with the base to uh, detail it up a little bit. I think that's about as much as you need to do if you look from here. It looks all right, doesn't it? It looks the part. You'll see they've kind of a little platform thing going on there. Didn't we get new ones of these? I don't think we need to worry about them just yet. Uh, we could put them on, I guess. Did it have new ones? Uh, what would these be? Are they just electric locos? I can't remember what they're in. Is it in here? Cut passenger? Is that where they are? I can't see them. Electric. I thought they would be in there. Diesel? Steam? Oh, they're in diesel. Really? Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. This was it, wasn't it? Ooh, we unlocked the uh, Einheitswagen. Wagen, however you pronounce that. And the TGV. Not sure about this. I guess we could take a look at it, but that's about it. It's it's pricey, and it's not very efficient in this game. Very small. Oh, yes, we've got this one. We have cabin small now. What's the difference? It takes six. One we have takes four. Do you know what? We're going to do it, guys. We're going to do it, and we're going to take a look at them. Add that on there. Replace. I don't know whether you can stick them together. I didn't realize they were diesel. Oh, yes, they look the business, don't they? They're a little bit chubbier. I like that. Yeah, I hope that hasn't ruined my station up here. Because I put the, uh, the little fake platform in. Well, this guy is going to let us know. Have I ruined it? No, there we go. Look, it's absolutely perfect. There we go. Let's do this then, guy. This is where we're going to have our station up here. We're getting rid of this. It's going to be in this little... A curve here which is about ideal isn't it and it means we don't have to technically have this junction anymore we can just send it up there as a third track and our these need upgrading with the new gondolas we will do that uh, means we can probably come off after the bridge that way we separate from the the iron trains I, I feel like these need a better loco now we're going to get rid of these we may need to pause it because they'll more than likely build up. The stuff like this, we're going to get rid of. It would be slope too steep now. Uh, I want to gently get snake up rather than have these ridiculous ramps going on. Uh, even this one's... Well, that one's okay. That one's okay, isn't it? Uh, that might have been done after the fact once the mod was installed because it does prevent the AI from doing it as well so let's get us a new station we want freight and we're just going to put one of these in one thing i like about station planning now if you get close it will level itself with the existing track i don't think it used to do that i don't think we're not going to go full size in fact i might go 160 as all we need to do is drop off we're never going to do anything else so if we put that somewhere there bit of distance from the track 
so that we can curve in and then we'll get the track in and this will be our new new drop off for our fuel line and uh, should make us even more money on that line which I believe is already making a ridiculous amount of profit now that looks like a good place to come off where is the signal there's a signal up there after the bridge so if we come in something like this and can keep speed up I think 90 would be okay right we we'll want to be slowing down for the stop anyway and yes and then we can possibly go somewhere like this and delete this back that's not the oil train is it no let's get rid of this it's going to moan about it until we fix it let's go that far back we can have a little more of a gentle slope heading up there uh, rather than the one we currently have uh, will we need to come back further probably in fact if we don't connect here could we do it like that if we just come round gentle if i hold shift will that work for us something like that and then go down a couple so we're gradually heading up there we go like that and then we come in to the track up here yeah i prefer that I prefer that it's much smoother isn't it that way we've got a little bit of room here to put some concrete blocks and then we can put a cover over there yeah nice nice oh yes technically we can have a crossover here should we ever want one okay let's get rid of these trees we're gonna do some terraforming we don't have much money actually Let's get everything built in and do all the roads so we can hit play. That might be uh, a better idea. Then we can gain some money while we uh, tidy things up a little bit. So we want buildings. We're going to go by era. And we're going to just slide this in around about here. We only want it on one side. So let's get rid of the left side, the right side. I'm going to say, nope, that's wrong. We're looking the wrong way. Or, well, there's no wrong way, is there? It wants to be like that. We don't have the lamps, which is ideal, as we can detail that up a little bit then. Come on, get in there. That's going in there, and it's going to be one way. We're going to come up and then back around. So we'll configure this, and we'll get rid of that. Hopefully it should redraw the paths. Yes, it did. And then we'll head out the other side. But first, what we really need to do is delete these back. We're going to have a couple of these out here first then we're gonna have we need enough room to dump of a few things on the platform this side wrong one there we go then our trucks that are delivering to uberhofen can just pull in there let's head down but not at ridiculous slopey slopes and then we can uh, hit play we want curvy this is just going to come down like that we're going to start off straight and then gradually make our way down snake our way down and then we can try and figure out where we want our first part of the city to be probably here yeah somewhere like that we need to leave ourselves enough room but that can go there and this can go straight off and stay flat now we can go curvy the reason i would like it to stay flat is so that we can do a similar thing on the other side just here and then we know that the slope is acceptable eventually we're going to have to work our way down but for now, all we need to do is head that way back into the mountain. Or the hill. Mountain, hill. Hill, mountain. This one can head off like this. I don't, I don't know whether that's just going to be enough. Oh, it might be. Look at that. It's beautiful. Just gently uh, head up there. Now then, we've got to head down with this. This is going to keep going down. I'm going to say two clicks. Two clicks down. That way, when they build houses, you don't get uh, strange buildings. Although that's not too bad. They did a good job there, didn't they? That's rather nice. Good job, AI. Uh, unfortunately, you're going to be deleted. But you did do a good job. It might need to be steeper than that. I don't know. We're just going to keep heading down like this uh, until we've come down to sort of this level. Is that heading up? That might be heading up slightly. We're going to delete that bit back. It's going to cost us a bit, but I'm hoping by the end of it, it'll look the business. There we go. Head back down. Is that going to be enough? Hey, look at that. It's perfect. Even get like a little cliff face thing going near the, uh, near the railway there. Can this head off here? Will it look too bad? 
Possibly not then. Doesn't look bad at all, does it? No. We can make a nice junction. The question is, is that too steep? It might be. Yeah, I didn't think we could get down that. Which is okay, because it means the AI won't build down there. Good experiment. We're not having it. We'll see what they do. I would like them not back to back anyway on slopes. We can get rid of this one. I don't think this is going to work for us. It's a little too steep. You'll see it heads up there because the AI likes to align with the terrain. So what we can do instead, we can dip down here and go straight for a little bit. And then we can start heading down at two ticks. Sort of bow and meet this road. And that gives us another access point to the town. I think it might just be okay doing it like this. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's pleasant, isn't it? It's not too steep. Yeah, there we go. Could we maybe meet that one? Maybe. That might be okay. Uh, I prefer this sort of road for it. If we go straight there. And then we curve. Head a couple down. Will it make a meal of it? I'm not sure. How does that look from here? Pleasant. How does that look from there? Pleasant. There we go. And we're heading down. We're heading down towards the uh, the harbour there. Right, we've got this one as well. This one doesn't connect yet. We need a way to uh, head off this way, don't we? This can go straight. And we're going to snake our way down at two ticks, wasn't it? Yep. You'll see we can't quite get the, uh, the grade we need. But if we branch it out into a nice circle there. And get rid of that and then we should be able to do something better with that there are we heading down they're almost the same height aren't they we could turn on the uh contour lines but i think eyeballing it will be fine as long as this can head into there and it doesn't look as ridiculous as the other one that's higher than i thought oh it's actually is that heading up it might be heading up yeah that might be heading up what does that look like it's not too bad. I'd rather it didn't. I don't know which way this is supposed to be going. Is that meeting up with that then? Is that what we're saying? It doesn't make much sense, does it? That would be better off coming down. Something like that behind. So we'll go straight a little bit with a junction. And then possibly curve into there somewhere. I don't know. As long as it doesn't look terrible. It's made us a weird bumpy thing there. We bring it out a little further. There we go. That's pleasant. Can we redraw this so it's not as bumpy? That'd be perfect. All right, get you in. Go in like that in one move. And then if we shift N, we might be able to take off some of the bump. Or M, M, N. There, just there. A little smoother. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it doesn't have to be terrible either. I like the way we head up there now. Yeah, and we come down quite aggressive this side, but it's okay. I don't know what the AI are going to be doing over here. We could help them, couldn't we? Our bus stops there. I think the only way we can really help them is just head up gently and cut into the mountainside. It's going to be pricey. I don't know whether we're going to get the height up here. It would be nice. Probably not. Oh, I don't know. It's getting up there, isn't it? As long as it snakes around a little bit. Will it? Oh, you're so close. There. There. Just there. That's pleasant. So we head down and then spin round. Hopefully they build some houses in this section here. So we'll leave that alone. We're going to get rid of that and that. Okay, we'll let them build up. I think that's going to be much better for us. That would look really nice, wouldn't it? Because it's slowly heading up there. If we don't do anything with this, when the AI builds, hopefully up here, they'll dig into the these mounds and then we can just flatten little sections out. Can we hit play now? We can. Hopefully uh, the game doesn't decide that it hates that. Crashes. We are going to get the flattening tool. Wang that up to maximum. And we're just going to fill this in. Over here, I'm going to make a nice little area for it so we can detail a touch. We can send that back out and make more of a cliff face over there. It's doing some interesting things there. I don't know what that's all about. We can tidy those up. I like uh, 
having more cliff face around here. This should all be flat though, because we just did all the work here. I do like the little ridge we've got going on there. Having it playing is going to help us, isn't it? It's going to give us a bit of cash. Hopefully. We're in a bit of a strange position at the moment, as we've just upgraded and changed a lot of lines and introduced air aircraft to our map. So it's going to take us a little while to make some profit. I think by the time we're finished, though, it's going to look fantabulous, possibly. I think by the time we've got all of this added, we're going to be in a, a sort of position to make loads of money to offset some of the some of the lines we have that are purely for uh, beautification or realism rather than gaming it. But it's nice that we can afford to do that and still make a profit. I kind of like this thing going on. We'll leave that as is. I don't know what's going on here. What could we do there? I think we need some paint tools, don't we? Some of this, just uh, color this in like this. There we go. Maybe some gravel mixed in with it as well. Bring the strength down a bit further. There we go. I like it. Yeah, could we have a little bit of gravel mixed in with that perhaps? There we go, like that. Better. Like we've just dug away at the uh, mountainside, which is what we've done. Perfect. Let's delete these. They can stay in there for now. I don't know how much room we've got here. Perhaps we could have something fancy. Do you know what? Given all the crashes we've had recently, shall I save it? That might be advisable. All saved. Now what do we need to do? What assets do we have? I know Mad Hatter has some, like, cranes. Oh, is that just too wide? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Yeah, that's just a little too wide, isn't it? Oh, no. Is that perfect? Oh, that's a fluke if that's perfect. Oh, that would be kind of nice there, wouldn't it? We could make the width smaller could we does that work i don't know i don't think it does anything okay we'll leave those alone and we'll put that there i kind of like it then can we get the rails and just put those in because it's about flat and straight isn't it and then in there as well oh there we go oh that's looking the business it just adds us something a little different to it doesn't it are we about straight as well that's a bit of a fluke there we go, something like that. I like that. Does that mean we can get the paint tools and add us a little bit of ballast down here? Not that much. Just down the sides here, if we hold shift, we can just bring it right up to the station there. Ballast, obviously, for the rails. There we go. And then down here as well. I love that the crane is moving. That makes me all sorts of happy. There we go, all the way down up to there. I kind of like that they vanish into the ground there as well. Well, isn't that pleasant? I'll probably go ahead and detail that up further then later. For now, we just want it in, don't we? Because we want to get this up and running. Does our train already run past here? It does. Is that it? Are we in? Surely not. Surely not. I mean, we can have some signals here, even though they'll unlikely bump into each other. Just have one out here, one white, just so we don't come down that way. Not that we would, and that should be fine. Just one there, maybe one up here. I don't think we're ever going to have multiple lines running this, so we want to keep them spaced out anyway. Right, we need a signal here, and we'll have a flashy type. That's going to be one white. There we go. Right on the junction. And that should be it. In fact, we could have one the other side because there isn't one. Or there is up there. It'd be kind of a short signal. Perhaps back here somewhere would be nice. It doesn't need to be the flashy kind. Just like that. There we go. Yeah. Guys, what do you reckon? We're in. We'll come back to this. Money. I was going to say money's an issue, but apparently we're back up to uh, 67 million. So not really. Uh, we do want to... I, I like this. I like that. That's great. It's almost like it's picking it off the platform. A bit excessive. Probably better ways of doing that. But I'll take it. Right, we need a new line from here before we set this up. I want one of these. Yes, just one of those. I don't think this is going to actually reach down there. No. 
that's the idea because we want some little trucks to drop the stuff off if we put it there does it about get everywhere it does if we stick it back there and then we can have a, a little multi drop so we're going to drop off there and then we'll drop off uh, i guess up on the hillside here as long as we reach over there could we do it up here out the way oh look they've built little roads but it's quite flat so yes you can do that have they already built up here where was my voice going there um i guess we can just stick it here that would be fine there we go just drop off there nice little cubby hole for you right new line this is going to go from here down to here down to there or up to there at that point wouldn't it yeah victoria road and we'll have it orange for fuel and put some new trucks on there this would be uh uberhofen fuel delivery did I spell Uberhofen right? Because I typed that in way too fast. Yes, probably spelled fuel wrong instead. Let's get some trucks on there. So we trigger demand, buy vehicles. I know which ones we're having already, Izuzu. Yes, absolutely. Because we've got these little fuel trucks. I like them. And four should be enough, I think. 1.7 million. We have plenty of money in the bank. We'll color them orange. Why not? See how they look. And we'll put those over... Let's just see what we can see and narrow that down a bit. Uberhoff and fuel delivery. Let's take a look at the little trucks. Oh, they're perfect. So they're going to be doing little deliveries around Uberhoff and nice little Isuzu's doing that. Oh, we're getting some fancy cars on the road now, aren't we? We've seen him before. Is it him? Elijah. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're getting some cool cars on the road now. Ooh, modern-ish cars coming through the ranks. I don't know. Could these be upgraded? Don't do that, because you're going to have to balance the line and stuff, so you don't want to be doing that. That's a point. Are we okay over here? We are. It's about perfect. That's fine. Yeah. The trucks are a bit old. We could maybe upgrade them. We'll leave it as is for now. Let's adjust this line, then only see what we can see it is that one at a station after the interlaken freight yard you are now stopping at uberhofen and there we go that should be it that should be it isn't that fantastic because we weren't keeping up with this obviously right let's just duplicate this in fact could we just add as another cargo wagon on the back we'll just add one of those on upgrade it then can we afford to duplicate it yes we can it's in perfect guys we now have two of these running what sort of finances are oh my days they are making us a small fortune 16 and a half million well maybe it's still making a good profit that should trigger a little bit of demand at uberhofen what we can do with this is no wrong one manage line we want this wait until full yeah three minutes should do we can let them drive off occasionally while they're sat there they're costing is it 75 percent less on maintenance while they're sat there waiting and yeah that should uh ease this up a little bit it's a bit full over here not as full as it used to be we could maybe get us another truck on here what are the finances like for this well yeah they're just making steady profit for us is this wait until full i can't remember it should be though shouldn't it yeah is this interlaken cell yeah wait until full that's better there's no point in them keep driving around when they're empty well not too often anyway this has got plenty on the uh platform there this has got much bigger hasn't it yeah we're expanding this side now oh is this what this was i think it is isn't it they were they were building one of these over here so as i was gonna say if that upgrades again <laughs> we should see that well there you go we're upgrading again that's wonderful we've added quite a bit i might actually turn the date up to uh, times one to see if we get anything in 1982 before we end today uh, still a little way to go that's our brand new freight train uh, it skipped the station obviously it's just going to head straight for uh, 
Is it Toon, technically? No, it would be Steffisberg, wouldn't it? Oh, it says right there, Grant. You named it as such. How are our platforms doing? Well, Speets is, is nice and calm now. We're, we're seeing to demand there. Uh, there's our other, our other oil train. It now carries 330. Probably could add another wagon on the back as well. How's the airport doing? About the same. I think I'll accept that. What I would like is for this to actually have an effect. I mean, yes, they should be turning around, right? And not being as eager to get on board. But it doesn't seem to work like that. They just keep showing up even though they're cheesed off. Or being eaten. Or whatever happened. But you would think if you did this on purpose uh, and got the overcrowding that they'll then decide that uh, perhaps they'll go via train instead because it's not overcrowded. I don't think that's going to be the case though. It's a shame. This is still busy. I'm hoping we get a new commuter on here though. With a little bit better capacity and maybe a little nippier as well. Something a little more modern. It would be lovely, wouldn't it? It would be lovely. Well, um, accidentally built that then today. Rather than chilling. <laughs> oh dear. And there goes our other freight train. I don't think that's going to really interfere with our main line too much. I believe. We're, we're a bit low on funds at the moment. But our next, before we do... The build at Interlaken. This needs to be bridged over rather than a crossing because uh, it stays closed for eternity, pretty much. As there's always something coming by. Wow, that stayed closed for this up here. Isn't that wonderful? That's how you want it to work, if anything, isn't it? What sort of speed are you doing around here? Oh yeah, you cross over, so not much. That's fine though, that's fine. Sit and watch it go by. It's a bit laggy. What happens if we close that? Oh, that's better. Oh, there we go. And if you look slightly that way, it's even smoother. Beautiful. Oh, don't stare at the windows when it's going by. That made me a little dizzy. <laughs> Is that just me? Hey, that was been in a, a productive episode. I'm surprised about that. We can still look at some pretties. Where do we want to sit? Brig. Yeah, I did say at the beginning, Brig was kind of busy. And a nice place to sit as a one of our... Yes, this. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. <laughs> Manage vehicle. I would like to get rid of these. I don't want them in anymore. Uh, we're going to get rid of them. We had a look. If I find them in the assets area or... Oh, no, we can't afford it. No, do we get that as a... We get that as a refund. Yeah, if I find the assets for those, I'll put them in a siding somewhere. Because it's never night time. I did try the night time mod, talking of night time. And uh, it was awful. Not the mod's fault. The game just doesn't do night time very well at all. No, it's a bit bizarre. It's a bit bizarre. I was going to do a little video of a flyover at night time. It would, you might as well just record a black screen with an odd speck of light here and there. Not how I imagined it. Probably dusk you could get away with, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look into that more. How are we doing over here? The light rail? It's only got one person. Because these are moving quicker, they should pick up... Oh, no, 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 no. Now, do we double one of these up? Or both of them? Or do we add a third? Well, the finances have crept up a little bit. They are full. Yeah, that's not good, is it? We need those to be uh, moving along constantly. Uh, the quicker you move them, the quicker they come back as well. So the, the more money you make. question is, is it a third or is it an extra... Maybe we can... Add an extra one on one of them for now and just see if that balances it out a touch. If we go into here, can we add 
electric just one of these onto the back of that we can i mean preferably i would have had not two power cars for something this long but it's just two stuck together isn't it it'll give us 40 capacity now that might balance it out also gives a little bit of variety on the light rail as sometimes it will be the uh the single one coming by and other times it'll be the double there we go we'll see how that works we'll be sitting here for a little bit as well see how people are doing i mean there are six people waiting that's our cut down express now it still gets busy between visp and speeds so that's nice and i believe between speeds and brick just here yeah look at that plenty plenty of people getting on board not ideal but i'll take it our map is probably going to get busier as well especially when we bring interlaken into the rail network which is is approaching fast that's going to introduce a lot of a lot more people to our network take a few off the roads as well so it might improve the uh, performance a little bit looking forward to that some of them are taking boats it's not too where would we sit here where do i normally sit when i like to watch this usually around here and then you go into the old uh, camera view like this like that and you can sit down with a sandwich or something in the middle of all the electrics which i do not recommend and is possibly illegal definitely if you don't work there i i think the uh the supervisor would would frown if, even if you did work there but this is this is virtual reality so we can do it well it's not vr it's still virtual reality though do we like it here in brig it's got a bit busier hasn't it got a bit busier we should maybe look the other way shouldn't we the uh this end so we can see the city it might affect performance but we'll get the trains coming through nonetheless somewhere like that there you go better we can hear the trucks then as well oh did we uh where's our money yeah we've got to wait on a bit of money just let it build up i don't know though i think by the time we've uh checked on the lines and done the intro next time out we'll have enough money going on let's get out of oh, yeah there we go we get big old payments don't we well we didn't get anything new uh, we uh, well we got the tgv and we did get the new wagons on the back i don't know whether we should put them in uh, we might take a look at the TGV, let it do this run, and then swap it back out again once we've seen it. See what sort of speed it gets up to. It's not the best in Transport Fever 2. We, we don't really have the rail network for it either. So there's not much we can do. So maybe we'll do that next time out if we can afford it. That's the other thing, isn't it? We can't afford it. We could take out a loan, but that would be ridiculous. Oh, before we go, do you know what we've not done? We haven't looked at the headquarters, have we? No. We have not. Right. Let me stick the date back down to normal. We'll see what we get in 1980. Is it 90? Yeah, 1983. Uh, when we come back, if there is anything, there'll be a couple of years of progress at the very least. Where's out? You've lost your own... There it... Oh, wow. Is that how it's always been lately? I'm, I'm going to guess we're doing all right then. Because we've got... Is that gold at the front? Look at our statue. Planes. He's got an anchor and a, a propeller from a plane there. Oh, that's fancy. Look how shiny those marble floors are at the bottom there. Marble steps even. That bus though is rough do you know what we could do with these can we afford it i don't know i think they're overkill but yeah there we go new buses i tell you what new no don't configure it new trams i, I misclicked there we go can we afford to replace these it'd be pricey yes we can squeeze in there there we go can we afford to replace these as well 
Might as well upgrade. Nope. Now you're broke. We're in the red. That's a good time to end it. Because when we end it, obviously we can't see our bank balance. Because I hide the UI. So that is perfect. Alright guys, that has been episode 60. Now, we're on board. It's last run before next episode of the uh, crocodile pulling iron ore. We're going to upgrade these. There's a plane. It's perfect. I was going to choose the uh, fuel trains, but there's got the weird camera and there's not a good one to select. It's too zoomed in. And it, uh, I prefer this view. It's nice and clear. Oh, that, oh yes. Well, this might be a good idea. We still get to go past the station and we might even see our fuel trains come by. Enjoyed that. It was a, like a, a surprising build. Went in quite smoothly. We can keep an eye on that. Eye on Uberhofen now. And see if they build how we want them to build. And indeed expand now that they've got a fuel drop off. If I remember correctly, they did have one more product that could be dropped off here. Uh, so we'll more than likely see to all their needs it would be nice before we head out that's looking the part we'll do a little more scenery there or i will um, over the course of the series make it look the business we'll check to see if they start getting deliveries these guys that we're on now are going to get upgraded and we're going to put the new gondolas on guys it's all coming together Soon, we'll be heading to Interlaken. There's, I keep finding more things to do, which isn't a bad thing. We do need the funds as well. We'll see by the time we uh, start up the next episode after the intro. We'll see how much money we've got. We might need to just check on a few things. We could unlock some new trains too. That'll be fun. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care.